All right, hey y'all, it's the Ebony Gamer, and we are playing some. What is this called? Even the Last Door? I forgot the other. It's like, it's like in a series, and this is basically basically like an interactive point and click. Uh, it says like it's a playable trailer. Um, that you're supposed that's only supposed to last three minutes or something. I'll probably leave that footage in. I don't think I can make this full screen. Last game, if I would have made it full screen, we could have avoided some of the stupid issues that we had. Um, but I don't see an options menu or anything. It just jumped me right into the game. <laughs> so I didn't really talk during that first part. I just kind of like let you guys see that for yourself. Uh, I played this other one. The this Was it the last door chapter something? And it was about a priest. And it kind of looked like that it kind of had references to this movie I think with all these crosses on the wall I have to ask this I'm bringing this up for a reason I know I'm not Catholic but y'all need to help a Christian sister out because in the game I'm gonna spoil it right now so it is what it is you play a priest and you lash yourself <laughs> and I'm just sitting here like why like is that what they do does he like took off all his clothes and started hitting you have to like hit him with the belt what in the freaky fuck is that? Like, is that what priests really do? Because I tried to look it up. Oh, I, ty I typed in, why do priests? And the first thing that came up is molest. And I spent like five minutes laughing so hard, I forgot what I was supposed to be originally looking up. So I didn't figure it out. Figure it out. So if you can tell me, that'd be great. And this is completely irrelevant to the gameplay and slowing it down, but I had to ask. All right. It was very difficult to find the house on that dark night. I finally arrived. Well, I mean, nobody told you to come. You just decided you were going to show up at somebody's house. Un oh, we better get up in here, bro. It's dogs. You decided you was going to show up at somebody's house uninvited. Actually, I think his friend might have invited him in the letter. I forgot already. How strange. The door is already open, but it seems that nobody is here. And that's just your cue to come right on in, huh? Okay. A grandfather clock. A portrait of my friend Anthony. He looks older than I expected. Yeah, well, dealing with these nonsense situations will do that to you. It'll age you like you'll never believe. It's crazy. Let's see, can we look in that um, cabinet? No. It's just over here. I should find out what's going on here before it's too late. Oh, it's your decision. I'm just trying to... I'm just hey, When you get clapped, do not say I didn't offer you a way out. I can see a note on the... I'm trying to lead you to pick it up, though, so stop. Let's see what it says here. The note says, Please forgive me, Anna. Oh, please forgive me, Anna. Like, she said that. I don't know what this note is talking about. <sighs> I'm worried about Anthony. I should find him. Uh, can't go back out that door. He's tripping. I'm still in my traveling clothes. I should get more comfortable before exploring for the bro. I'm gonna fight this dude already. You were worried about the wrong daggone things. Just put the suitcase down. Oh, you can touch this. That's it. <laughs> this dude. This dude, yo. Okay, clearly I need this uh, light. What is this? Can we touch this? I don't recognize this young man. It's probably Anthony before he aged a fucking ton, apparently. Could she be Anthony's wife? Oh, y'all, I already solved the mystery. I got it. Did he know Anthony in college? Because that's what this whole game is about. See, he fucked Anthony over in college, and Anthony's wife, probably Anna, is sick and tired of Anthony talking about it in the middle of the night. She's like, nigga, I gotta go to sleep. I'm tired. I got work in the morning. You ain't got no job. You didn't pay for this house. I did. So, if you that mad about it, you need to handle yours. And here we are. Anthony's about to handle his because <laughs> his wife has told him that she will walk out on him and he will never see the pee again if he don't quit waking her up with the foolishness. Here we are. Anthony and his wife are going to kill us. I got it. I'm take take your bets. Like place place your bets. I'm taking bets right now cuz I know I got it. I just solved the mystery. Yeah. 
what happened here? What's about to happen to you? Probably. Because I just warned you, but I'm a master mystery solver, sir. Sherlock Holmes gets scared as fuck when I come around, so you you need to listen to me. A picture of the fields around the house. It looks as if they, the, those were better times. Sherlock is the better reader, though. I have a feeling that something terrible happened in this house. I hope my friend is all right. Oh, boy. Almighty God, what is this? Maraud? Murderer. Oh, are we about to find out that we are Anthony? Because, I mean, I tried to play this card last time. I thought, like, okay, this is one of those games where we're the monster. And... I was wrong. Although, there is a game called Deeper Sleep. Oh crap. The lantern has gone out. So, what can I help you do? Like, what do I do? Let's keep walking back and forth. Oh, I hear that clock. Please. Hurry. Up. The last door. Coming to a theater not near you. This was really short, so we're gonna have to, um, I think I'm gonna do like a mismash, mishmash, whatever. I'm gonna do like a, some other gameplays today off this website. Cause this was kind of shorter than I thought it would be, but this is, I like this. I'm a sucker for pixel art games. All right, hey y'all, it's the Ebony Gamer, and we, today we are back with some deeper sleep. I just, like earlier today, I played um, the the last chapter, the prologue or something. I can't remember if that's what it's called or not. But that that game where he was like chasing down his homeboy Anthony, and I personally believe Anthony brought him there to kill him. But whatever, <laughs> you know. Uh, we're back with deeper sleep is the sequel to Deep Sleep, the game I played uh, last video. And I just wanted to do like a quick, I didn't know that they had it, I didn't know they actually had a sequel when I saw it, saw it I was like, okay, I, I gotta see. Cause like, I actually really did like it. So we're gonna jump into it here. Got you covered, got you covered. Um, not gonna do that though. I've always wanted to experience a lucid dream. Me too, but like you shouldn't play with that stuff because um, a dream in which you are awake, a dream in which you can be anyone and do anything. I was trying one time and all my attempts failed, and I took that as and I started reading, I started doing research into lucid dreaming, and I come, I came to the conclusion that I was being protected, so I'm not gonna try to force that anymore. But something went wrong, and I ended up having a terrible nightmare. Before I woke up, I encountered monsters that wanted to hurt me. I don't think they were part of my dream. It felt like they came from the outside, from the depth. The nightmare didn't fade away like I thought it would. I couldn't stop thinking about it. What if it was real? I became obsessed with it. I don't know why. Maybe I just wanted to prove myself wrong. Maybe you're just fucking stupid. Let it go, bruh. So I went to a local library to see- oh my goodness. To see if there were any past records of dreams similar to mine. Didn't we like read a ton of newspapers of people who were probably going through what our protagonist was going through? Then they got the cop cars on deck? See, because you broke up in this library and you don't have no business in here. A cold night outside. You're not going to comment on the cop car that's clearly out there. Okay. Or is that supposed to be cars driving by? Yeah, it's supposed to be cars driving by. It looks like a siren, doesn't it? Whatever. Nothing interesting here. More books about humans. Like I said, so it does matter which shelf you click on. Psychology of dogs. Anybody trying to come at me with some psychology of dogs, I will not take you serious. I've just arrived. You just need to leave. Like, let's just do that now. Oh, nope. As long as you don't know you are dreaming, you are safe. But, oh boy, <laughs> fallout happened again, you know what that means, in the same mountains in the distance, so I assume we're in like the same, um, the same like location. 
a book is missing here. So I guess we're gonna have to bring... Okay, the cursor will turn green when I can click on something, so... To save you guys on hearing mouse clicks, we'll try to remember that. Um... I guess we have to bring a book back there and put it in. Uh, this would probably do. A dusty old book. Physics. Thermodynamics. Is that right? Oh, where's the book? Um, come on now. Don't start this shit again. The book fits here perfectly. Whoo! Let me, let me build up my strength. Let me get my psyche on point. Hold on. Is that bad? Oh boy, we fucking with the flashlight again. A piece of paper. It's gonna open up automatically again. Okay, I picked up a piece of paper and oh notes. Okay. A uh, house existed since human race. Oh wow. This painting looks familiar. So I'm guessing this is too dark. Oh no, that's where we came in. I was in. Is that like too dark again? Oh, are we back in that house? It's locked. Of course. No power. Uh, uh, everything is just shaping up to be what it needs to be. It just... Oh, um... Should I have left? Should I have, like, booked it? Maybe you just don't play with that, with that, uh, a room key. I think we should go back up here and see if there's a flashlight in there and then F with that place. Because I think these things are, um, like afraid of the light or something. Because remember, at the end, we killed it with that lighthouse. So, maybe they don't fuck with the light. Oh, this is fair. This is this is so fair. Like, please play with my emotions this way. Willie, Cody, this is a puzzle. Timmy, let's read it in order then. D Danny, Toby, Tommy, Timmy, Cody, Willie. Okay. So, I'm assuming that's a puzzle. So I guess we do just have to go down into those rooms and just hope for the best. It's locked. That's the sub basement. This takes us to that uh, furnace, I think, right? Oh, oh, it is a different game. What am I? I'm, I, don't, I don't need to apply any of the pa past game rules to this. I just need to stop. You again? Why have you returned? This place is dangerous. Who are you? You again? Have we met? Goodbye. Oh no, I can I can um talk here. Okay, why well, did I read it like that? Ew. Who are you? Yeah, let's talk. Let's, I don't know you, bruh. Not in person. However, last time I left you a recorded message which led you to the lighthouse. You shouldn't have come back here. Oh, so I was afraid of dude all last game. I hated him. I was like, shut the hell up. Do not call me no more. But he was trying to help. My bad, sir. I had to know if this was real. I'm not going to answer that because this just makes me sound stupid. <laughs> like, I know the protagonist is stupid, but we don't have to let this guy know that. So let's say, who are you? My name is not important. I am a traveler like you. Okay, you guys are never fucking helpful. You are a real sleeping human? Yes, and as crazy as it sounds, I am as real as you are. What are you doing here? Currently, I'm hiding. Your actions have drawn their attention. Oh, see, this dude is like, look, bitch. I had it on lock, and then you came back here, and you fucking up my lifetime. Don't make me have to come out of my hiding spot. That's what he's saying, but he's saying it politely. Can't you wake up? So this is not only my dream. I had to know if this was real. Who are they? The shadow people, but we shouldn't talk about them. Here, take this scrap of paper. It might shed some light on the matter. Can't you wake up? So this is not only my dream. I had to know. Uh, they're really pushing this on me right here. They are really wanting me to say this. Well, now you know, but they won't let you reach the lighthouse this time. Yeah, because they know this, like, you killed their, probably, probably killed their leader last time. So they're going to be like, look, we was waiting. We knew you was a stupid ass nigga. We was waiting. And if you think you're touching that lighthouse this time, boy, 
That's what he said, but he was being polite. Can't you wake up? So this is not only, uh, okay, this is another one that they keep pushing. Can you help me? Can you tell me more about them? Um, no, I risked my life for you once with your dumb ass and you came back, so no. This time you're on your own, bitch. Stay hidden. If they sense you, if they find you, they gonna chop that ass up. I've killed one of them with light. I don't know how to wake up. So this is not only my dream. Okay. And that is exactly why you should go away. I don't want to be anywhere near when they get to you because they remember what you did to their, what, what you did to their boy, what you did, not me. So I don't have to go down with you. Can't you wake up? So this is not only my dream. I don't know how to wake up. Let's, let's just go with this because they keep. Dreams are like personal pockets, but only to a certain level. At this depth, it's one big world for everyone, much like reality. Can't you wake up? Oh, let's try this. Maybe I can, but I just don't want to. Maybe my wife left me and took my kids and I don't have nothing but a dumpy-ass, pissy trailer to go back to and I don't want that in my life. Maybe I was chilling here just fine and had crafted the perfect world for myself and you came back and blew it. Maybe whatever lie I had out, life I had out there is even worse than this. It's none of your goddamn business. Get out of my face. Why would anyone want to be here? This depth, one big world... I don't know how to wake up. Uh, I'll try this. Of course you don't know, because you're stupid. That's why you're standing before me once more. You're stupid. People spend years preparing for this, learning, practicing. Oh, see? see? Why would anyone want to be here? Ah, okay, this is the first smart thing you've said. Well, you are here, aren't you? So why are you hating? Why are you trying to judge people? What did I tell you about mine and your own goddamn business? You had your choice to escape, yet you've returned. This place lures you and then it consumes you like a swamp. What are you doing here? This is this depth. Uh, okay, let's try this. Think of it as a river that joins with another river and so on. At one point, they all fall into the ocean. I like that we can talk to this guy and get all the dialogue out because usually they force you to, ch to choose like two things and you miss out. You have to basically choose how much story you want to get out of a person. And that's, that's bull. Are there any other travelers here? This realm is huge. You can find travelers from time to time. For example, have you met Felicity? She lives in the attic. But don't go there. She crazy as hell. She'll fuck you up. She dangerous. Now don't play with her. Felicity ain't right. What are you doing here? Why is Felicity dangerous? Because she's crazy. That's why. Didn't I just tell you that? Didn't I just tell you she was a nut job? She been here for too long, man. She, she don't know how to function now. She couldn't wake up and she just lost it. She will slit your throat. You will get clapped. Watch out for her. How long has she been here? Years. She lost both her mind and her humanity. And her man, because he bailed when he saw how lunicidal she was. What are you doing here? How long have you been here? Yeah, let's try this. It's none of your business. Bruh, if I have to tell you about minding your business one more time, it's going to be me, you, and a brick. Mind it. I'm not crazy if that's what you suggest. Okay, we. I think we're starting to repeat ourselves here. So you've jumped into a pool that's too deep without even checking. As if we didn't already confirm several times, you're stupid. And you haven't learnt to swim, you're stupid. Now leave me before they find us, before I have to hurt you, and you're stupid. I will go away if you help me. Yes. Good, let's make a bargain. Hmm. Since you've killed one of them, they will hunt you. They've probably already blocked all the ways out. This means you can only go deeper. Deeper how, and why would I? Because they might not look for you there. And sometimes you have to bounce off the bottom to reach the surface. And what about when I get deeper? This is starting to... Mm, <laughs> mm, a, little, a little bit fresh. I don't know. I've never been deeper than I am now. Mm, hopefully you find something to bounce off. Alright, well, thank you. You're welcome. Now, if you, don't, if you don't have any other questions, please leave as promise. Get out of my face. I'm done. We got a piece of paper. Let's see what this note says. Um, commonly known as the shadow people. So it's starting to put together a letter. So I guess we're saying that how, what we have here so far is the house has existed. Come back, please. The house has existed since the human race. Um, I first encountered this the early 80s, but commonly known as the shadow people. Actually, is this what we picked up? Because I don't remember this. Whatever. 
as long as you don't know you are dreaming, you are safe. And now we know we're dreaming, so we're clearly not going to be safe. Yes. Come to me. Okay, so we have another one of these. This, this room still stayed the same. It's locked on the other side. That's what we just came out of. Alright, so... What is this? Bert? <sighs> Get the fuck... Whoever made this is a goddamn sadist. Why? A poster. It's, it looks crazy as heck. A key. I can't reach that. Oh, of course you can't. It's dark down there. Can we turn on this flashlight, though? If you turn on the flashlight, you can see the bottom. I'm still trying to help you out. You just... You never want to be bothered with my help, man. Oh, it's a moose. Oh, it might not have been a moose. We might just have, like, scared whatever that was. Oh, oh, fu- Oh, so we're in a school? What did I tell you about whoever made this game? They're crazy. They don't want to see us a pointer. They don't want to see us happy. 4350. Alright, last time we almost got- we did get clapped when we came in here, so... Is something coming through that door? We apparently didn't learn our lesson last time. Yeah, this is like a pretty much... Oh, I guess it's just clicking forward. I bet I could click on something. So the pickaxe was there last time, and then that guy. We didn't even get to come in here because that the handle is stuck. Should we do something with the pointer? I'm scared to like something else because I feel like the flashlight. What did we get? A needle. Old toys. Like maybe like take one. Like. Uh no. That's why I recommend you play with headphones. Old toys. Um, should I make sure I have to click on? I mean, I like, take anything else with me. I don't know what's useful here. I'm not exactly sure what everything even is. Nothing. Oh, we might, maybe we can get a pointer to get this down. Damn is right. Like he I was literally about to say that. Okay, so we got a golden key. So that was what the pointer was for. Still have it though, so. I mean, if push comes to shove, we can poke an eye out with that thing. Oh, wait, hold on. This head was locked from the other side. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he's not even trying to turn this flashlight on, y'all. Make sure I'm not trying to get clapped here. We can go this way or we can go that way. Let's go this way. Oh no, this is getting real slender mini. Slender slender manny. Slender is that make sense? It's getting real slender manny. It is. I don't care if it makes sense. You know what I'm trying to say. Don't do that. Um Night folk or in the realm of dreams. Oof. That was a jump scare. I, I gotta start doing face cams so you guys can see this when I play these games. Um, I've taken a thread from the scarecrow. So we, are we supposed to sew something up? We got a needle. We got a thread. I don't know what in the world we could throw up. Throw up. Oh lord. Sew up. <laughs> but it seems like they're starting to imply that here. What the freak? What is that? Show yourself. Um... You want a rock? You want a pallet? No, you don't want that. That's stupid. You wanted a lucky piece of coal, but you don't want that. Like, that's just too much. There was a key in the pot. It seems to go deep. He said go deeper. We could bounce off the top. Perhaps he was talking about going down that way. Maybe we... 
I'm, I'm assuming we're gonna have to come back to that well. Okay, so this is the power. All right. All right, what do we got here? Five kg. Five thousand? Oh, my God. oh, five kilograms. Um, we're talking pounds or something. Uh, we're not talking pounds. We're talking weight. Period. I don't know what the hell I am saying. I'm just gonna stop. A pile of flour. A pile of rotten bags. Oh, a bag with a hole. Oh, okay. We're supposed to sew it up, right? I already know. I thought maybe you had to take something to the sewing machine or that maybe the sewing machine, like maybe you were supposed to get items that were associated with the boys because I, like, I thought that that might be a puzzle. Oh, I missed a piece of paper. I probably have missed so many pieces of paper. Uh, commonly known as the shadow people, they live in the realm of dreams, but desperately. I don't think we would need to take some dirt. Maybe we could take some rocks. Okay. Because there's like a reason why they kept highlighting rocks. Like, I knew we had to do something with it. I thought maybe they were like too heavy, so we needed to, to, I don't know what I thought. This is locked, okay. Yes, yes. Anything else? Yeah, something over here, a piece of paper. Uh, but desperately want to get vulnerable. Huh? Why would you want to get vulnerable? Like, that's generally not a good thing, right? I mean, it's a human thing. It's not necessarily a wrong thing, but you don't want to be vulnerable. Yeah, it was in here. <laughs> Nothing happens. Okay, so clearly we have more work to do, but let's look at our items. What do we have here? We have a pointer. We've used that. I don't know if we can use it again. A plushy tiger. A bag one third full. Oh, should I have gotten more rocks? Okay, I'm gonna have to probably get more rocks and maybe I have to get other heavy items. I don't know. And a pipe wrench. I was pretty sure that there was like another pipe situation. That's weird. Okay, here, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nothing happens. Well, the valves are open, right? So. Oh, it worked. Alright, so we filled the bag. I think we have to use different items to fill the bag. You can't just fill the whole thing with rocks. Like, maybe that would make it too... Like, too heavy? It has to be a precise amount of weight or something. Because it did say 5 kg, so... Um... This is just bags. Oh, well, okay. Maybe we could fill it with flour. We filled it with dirt. Why not? Yep. Alright. That was just enough. And another piece of paper first. Read that. But much more often during... Ubis? Obi? Obis? What is that? Obis? Ubis? I don't know. We found another valve. The other two, I think they're open, but they're not on. The wrench broke. Okay, so apparently we used it for what we needed to use it for. Another piece of paper. But much more often... Okay, we heard you with that. Uh... Want to get to our realm vulnerable, unoccupied. Okay, I, I don't think they're saying they, they want to get vulnerable. I think they're saying that maybe something we have popping off is vulnerable. And that's why they're attracted to it or something. I don't know. When, this, when they sense a mind, it's body, which sometimes happens when they... Okay, we don't have the rest. Whew putting this story together uh an old looking fountain oh a puzzle oh i'm terrible at these Whew, that puzzle was a bitch and a half i think that you need to walk away 
and come back to it if you are like if you've already started an old looking gun. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. If you've like um been doing it for a while. Okay, so we got the river flowing again. All right, a little river action, river action popping off, and. We need to get our butts back up to the house now because that should bring the power and that means the elevator thing? The elevator situation should be happening now. Woo, I don't want to go where you're taking me. Okay, this, they're like absolutely no floor zero. Get the fuck out of here with that. What were you thinking? Um, minus one? What the? What is this? <laughs> like... Oh, here we go, and uh, I'm, I thought we were on floor one, right? So that's probably not where you want to go. I'm assuming we want to go to floor two. The door is closed. I'm clearly trapped. Yeah, well, I mean, you knew. Elevators are always on some fuck shit. You just, you just know in a game. Don't even think you're about to get into an elevator and it's about to be all good. What the freak? What did you do? Go away. Uh, bruh, I'm trying to help you, but there's like nothing I can do. Oh, he dropped the screwdriver. Oh, dang. Okay, I know what to do now. Who the heck drops the screwdriver? <laughs> I mean that's a fair um that's a fair checkpoint i mean i i knew when i saw the well you already knew what was gonna happen you knew she was coming when you saw the well get back uh, fuck and don't drop it this time oh my god of course he's gonna drop it this time he's fucking stupid okay so, um, yeah, that was fucked up. Like, this this guy just keeps making all the stu- I hate stupid protagonists. This is the worst horror game, indie horror game protagonist I have ever seen. The guy in, what was it? What was that game that was on, like, the PS Vita and, um, the PC? It was really- I forgot what it was. But that pixel art game, like, that guy was smart. He didn't do this dumb shit. Negative one? We don't really have a choice. All right, so we got a door already. We got a panel. Can we use the screwdriver on the panel? A rope, okay. I'm assuming we still get to use the screwdriver because it didn't take, it didn't break like the wrench. So, oh, okay, this is the door. All right, all right. So let's let's take a look at our items, which we should do when we're lost. We got the ti a plushy tiger. I'm still not 100. Maybe that has to do with the boys' room. We'll try that out when we go back upstairs. Uh, still got the pointer. Not a weapon. I tried. <laughs> uh, still got the screwdriver. We know what the flashlight's for. We know what the notes are for. Um, let's see if Ogai is still here. Maybe he'll, like... No. There's, like, no more dialogue. He is not fucking with you anymore. He is... He's trying to tell you he's done with your butt. Um, let's just go try the boys' room thing. Uh, does it matter? I'll pick a name I like the best. Danny, Toby, Tommy, Timmy, Cody, Willie. Those are all generic. I like Danny, I guess, the best out of this. I have an Uncle Danny. Alright. Maybe it wasn't for Danny. It wasn't for Toby. Or maybe nothing. Maybe I have to leave the room or something and something will happen. Yeah, I have to uh, leave the room. Maybe I have to put it in the windowsill? No. Um... I'll sleep at Danny's. Uh, Bert, what happened? <laughs> Some, see, even they didn't want to mess with Bert's face. Like, even they covered Bert up. They're like, Bert's just too much, y'all. We're like, we're, we're, we're taking it too far now. 
Alright. Yeah, the well. Uh... I mean, there was no coming back when you came here in the first place, but you don't seem to care about that, so don't, don't worry about it now. You see, I'd be with old dude chilling in that little sewer thing. I can't even touch my items. I can't go back. To be continued. I actually really like this series. It is kind of creepy. And it's like, a pixel art is my favorite. See you at the final depth. And I only got 11 out of 15 notes. That's fucking terrible. I Pixel art games, I love them. I love pixel art. It's one of my favorite forms of art, especially when it comes down to gaming. And, uh... Even with it being pixel art, it still does a really good job of like immersing you in it. It has an interesting little storyline, like interesting elements to it. Script Welder 2013 now, uh, brought to you by So Good TM. Yeah, you did your thing again, Script Welder. Uh, I really like this. And like I said, he does. He has more games out there. I was looking into him after I found out that there was a Deep Sleep sequel, Deeper Sleep. So I would recommend checking him out. I'm gonna link this game below so you can play it for yourself, even though, you know, maybe you can find all 15 notes because you're better than me. <laughs> maybe you can solve the puzzle in less than like 20 minutes. I don't know how long it took me. Um, yeah, but like, if, they, if I find out that there's another one of these, we're definitely gonna do the other one. So thank you for joining me for two horror games today or two, Two scary games brought to you by Game Shed, and uh, yeah.